All right, so we just showed up at the fishing spot. It's around these houses a little bit. It's kind of like a hike out there, but we're going to go to it. But today it's going to be interesting because we don't have our food yet. We're going to catch it. I'm your fussy fisherman, and let's get to it. It's just about maybe a fo couple football fields away down in this little ravine. I think we're going to catch some species that you guys have never seen before, so let's get to it. Crocky. We're almost there guys. That's the fence right there. Now it's fenced off because they don't really want you coming here because it's loaded with fish. You should hop over first. Here, give me the camera. It looks huge. Oh, we're definitely catching something today, man. This is going to be sick. This will be the spot, man. You can see the deep end where they're getting, it's gonna be like pools of them. And the shallows for the little critters. It can be all kinds. Colored, pizza maybe, hopefully. This will be the spot. I'll come a little closer, we're gonna talk about baits. So, the bait that I found works at this pool. I don't know if you guys have used it, but it's one of my favorites. I like to go with live baits sometimes. Swedish fish, I just picked this up at Target. Like you wouldn't think, but the fish go crazy for it. But what I like to do is, that's fresh. We're just gonna be going with a, a basic bobber and hook with a little bit of Swedish fish. Let's cut this baby. Oh yeah, look at all those guts hanging out. Mm. And just like that, you're ready to get in the water. Let's just drop. There we go. I really hope we catch something so we can review it for you guys. I've got some fish here before, so I'm feeling faithful. I'm feeling bites right now. I don't know what it is though. Oh, I think we got one. I think we got one. Oh, look at that bend. It's a big one. Dude. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's a pizza. No way. Dude, I, I knew we were going to catch one of these. Oh, these taste so good. Flavor blasted. Woo. I can smell them, dude. Oh, this guy's wild. Nice. For later. All right, guys, back in the water. We're going a little deeper this time. I'm feeling something. I'm feeling something. Oh, feels, feels about the same size, but different species for sure. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I've caught this before. This one's a cheddar, obviously a female. You know, I've always wanted to try a cheddar, but I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to keep these species, so I think I'll throw it back in. But what an awesome catch here. Get a photo real quick. All right, princess, cheddar. Fish right there, throwing it back in. We like to be conservative. We've already got our, our fish for the catch and cook, so why, why keep another one, right? We just caught those two fish in the uh, in the big one. 
But I heard that the princess fish, I just texted my friend about it. He said the princess fish actually love to stay in this little small pond, but I can imagine they're a little smaller. But I just want to try to get another one because they're so pretty. Yeah, just get a baby, maybe even put it in my fish tank, but oh wait, you have to release them. But they're pretty, so we're gonna go for another one right now in the small, in the small lake. So I'll be in a bite. They love these Swedish fish, dude. There it is. Man, they're just gorgeous. The pink crown that they wear. Come get a close up, come get a close up. Isn't that, a, isn't that beautiful? The princess cheddars, man. Go hook this guy and get him back in the water. All right, guys, we're gonna go for the big one now. Uh, my friend caught it once before. He used two Swedish fish, just like this, in this exact location. This is the deep end. So we're gonna see what we can go for. I think it's just a big cheddar, but here we go. You need to cast it far. Perfect cast. That's where you want it. This is it, dude. This is it. <laughs> Holy crap, dude! It's huge! <laughs> no way, dude! Oh my gosh. Oh, he's giving me a fight. Oh, it's swimming all around the place. <laughs> it's it, dude! The big one! We got it, man! It's the colors! It's the big colors, dude! No way! Oh, he's a wild one! He's crazy, man! He's wild! Should we catch this one? Should we cook this one? Dude, I think we should cook this one. We're gonna fly this one for you guys. Uh, try to cook it up and eat it. This is gonna be wild. Then I get to show you how you guys had a fillet, and then I'll review it for you guys. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, now it's time for the actual review of this. First, we're gonna show you how to fillet the fish properly. Um, try to do it angle so you can see. You wanna start with the head, and just kinda get in there. And go around, try to follow the spine of the fish all the way around to the butt, come through the other side. Get right in there and do the same thing. Try to keep it clean as cut as possible and closest to that spine. You don't want to lose any meat in this fillet. And then the last part, cut off the head. This is the thickest part of the fish. So you might want a sharper knife than we have here. Some of the guts are spilling out. Okay. Oh, look at that meat. Wow. That's what you want in the colors fish. Some of you guys have tried these before. Looks like we've got four different flavors within the colors and the colors fish. Uh, we got yellow, orange, red, and green. I've had the, uh, the yellow before, but I've, I don't think I've had the orange, red, and green. And so I think this, this fish is probably safe to eat raw. I would say so. We can check the package. Try all our great flavors. Yeah, it's definitely good to eat raw. But let's go ahead and start with the one that we all know, the basic cheddar. Classic. That's all I can think, instantly. You know, it's great. It's a great flavor, but it, it it's kind of familiar. And it kind of gets stuck to your teeth a little bit, which I've never really liked when eating these fish. And so I think my score based on that is gonna be eight out, of, eight out of 10 on the snack scale, since we are reviewing a, a snack here. Um, eight out of 10 is good. Now let's try the, the orange. I'm, I'm gonna guess this is sharp cheddar and not just cheddar. Based on the color, we got some dirt right there. there we go. Yeah, it kind of tasted the same. I have absolutely no idea what flavor this could be. So uh, I'm just gonna eat it. 
on the salty side. You gotta put the salty side on the tongue. That's the best. I mean, that kind of was like basic. Could have been cardboard. It's probably cardboard's probably got the same amount of flavor. We'll see. This is actually more fun to chew. You should have just done a cardboard review. This is chewy. I like the texture. Oh, now it's like, it molds, oh, earthy tones. It's kind of like sunflower seeds. You don't have to swallow it. Oh God, he swallowed it. <laughs> I like the cardboard better than the red one. So if you guys get the colors, fish, I'd stay away from the red one, but now let's check out the green one. You know, this might be Gouda, or maybe even Swiss. But no, it's probably cheddar. They're probably all the same flavor. But anyways, goldfish, classic snack. We got a beautiful fish fillet here. Um, the best part is it's in a to-go box. So look, you can just take it to go, nothing falls out. Beautiful box. Um, but this is definitely the way to open it in the, in the fillet form. And it's like, it looks like a party platter almost. So if you can have this for a party, and it'd be great. Uh, not too much of a mess. I mean, every food, there's, there's a mess in every food. But, yeah. It's great. Now that our fish is frozen, uh, this one we don't have to cut. It's got all the flavor you need in inside. So we're just gonna slap it on the grill, give it about 10 minutes and come back. Okay, now it's, it's really roasty here. It's almost ready to eat. And once we take it off the grill, you can just kind of peel the skin off. So like I said, don't need a knife. The skin comes right off like this. Oh yeah, smooth. That's when you know it's cooked right. The skin's got two layers, so you gotta be careful there. See, there's that pre-layer, and there's the second layer. Oh, there we go. And the meat's just inside. So, this species is the explosive pizza species, uh, flavor blasted. Now guys, unfortunately, we just Googled it, and it's, it's an endangered fish. But by the time we found that out, I'm so sorry, but by the time we found that out, we had already threw it in the fridge for filet. Um, oh, that smell. Whew. Wow. Now that's a fish. Look at that, look at that fin on there. So colorful. That fin and, and these spots of yellow with the green. There's not a lot of green fish out there, it's beautiful. Oh, that white stripe. Wow. Now that's a good fish. On the snack scale. This is a fun one. See, if like, you want a really basic, easy on the, the tongue flavor, you can go with the cheddar colors, but the flavor blast is something where you're looking for something with energy. Something a little more salty and sweet and savory. You gotta go with the pizza, explosive pizza. But they're hard to catch, and guys, remember that they're endangered, so be, be easy on them, uh, only catch Big ones, save the, save the little guys. Just like how we threw back the princess, you gotta save the little ones. But on the food scale, definitely a 9.5, six out of 10. That's great. You gotta be good to nature, man. Catch her in a lease. I'm so sorry, Nate. <laughs> what an adventure. I hope you can join us next time on the Fussy Channel. Anything you'd like to say to your mom? She might be watching this. Mom, when you watch this, I want you to know this is the real me. All the other stuff is fake. I'm not actually your son. I was built by the CIA. <laughs>